what we're finding, obviously, is that, that the customers are not necessarily looking at what exactly is the underlying technology, but what can it enable. And you brought up issues regarding uh, uh, physical location of an application, latency, a lot of other factors that come into play. We, too, have been looking at that. How do you optimize, really, an application environment? We don't really talk so much at, at Velo about, about a... Uh, about a network, but about the application environment that is enabled through it and making sure that that application environment is tailored to the particular rollout requirements or the performance requirements that the end users might have. There are a number of use cases, obviously, that we have in common and we address in common as well. And one of the big ones, we think, is, is this notion of continuous availability or, or application resiliency. What, just out of curiosity, I mean, what, what are you seeing as far as uh, customer requirements for leveraging their presence with you to ensure to raise the overall enterprise or IT availability level to five or six nines? Sure. What, that, what I think that does is it brings up an interesting relationship dynamic between the enterprise and the network service providers who are providing that actual transport and that network capability. I think it creates a, a much more interesting dialogue these days because now you have a well-informed enterprise um, IT group that is used to virtualization, they're used to flexibility, and they expect the same thing, quite frankly, out of network services. So what it's done is it's changed the conversation on both ends of, of that relationship on the network side of the business, um, where predominantly Equinix originally started, which was build a huge network critical mass so that every ecosystem can tap into those data services. So if that's the foundation, how do you add more intelligence into that foundation and more flexibility? So conversations that happen between those network service providers and the enterprises are really about how quickly can you get me capacity online for specific applications, for specific locations, um, how can I have flexibility in scaling that capacity uh, on an on-demand basis um, so that, for example, if I'm bringing up an application that is very bursty in terms of the numbers that are using it during certain time intervals, um, how can I ensure that I have a peak capacity availability? Um, and then, in addition to that, how can I actually stuff more bits into the trough component of that capacity sure. that I'm buying? So how can I set up a cron for a specific let's say backup as an example, um, and ensure that that particular traffic is being handled with a different priority um, and has a committed level of bandwidth available to it. So the conversations tend to be much more about how quickly can you get me this capacity up and, and quite frankly, how can I manage this in a more real-time basis? And what that's translated to is what we're starting to see now um, in terms of... Um, press releases and new services getting rolled out. So the example uh, would be you know, TW Telecom, for example, who has rolled out and is in the process of rolling out their Constellation service. Uh, the Constellation network service allows their enterprise customer group to go in and buy bandwidth in a very uh, precise quick manner so that you can turn up capacity very quickly uh, between lit buildings and between key applications that are hosted. And so when you look in our data center today, you see a number of you know, uh, virtualized services as a service type companies um, who are offering these cloud enabled applications. So enterprises are looking for better way of how to get connected into those um, that gives them the flexibility that they need to provision on demand essentially. Mm -hmm.